Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. This week I'm sharing four simple and delicious recipes using ground beef. And I'll make sure to leave links to all the recipes in the description box. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and make sure to share and subscribe. It really helps our channel and lets me know that you want to see more of these types of videos. So let's get started. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making Korean ground beef. Howard and I love Asian food and this is a really quick and simple dish. So in my skillet, I have one pound of ground beef. It is lean ground beef. And to that, I'm going to add this sauce mixture. So in the sauce mixture, I have garlic, I have brown sugar, sesame oil, ginger, and soy sauce. And so I did double the amount of sauce because Howard likes his a little bit saucier. So I'm just gonna pour this in and then I'm going to stir it up very well. And I'm just gonna let this simmer um, for about 10 minutes or so until all of that liquid is absorbed in the ground beef. And I've got my rice going, it's steaming, and I'm gonna serve this over rice. So I will be back and show you our plates. Okay, so here are our plates. Here is my plate. Like I said, I just served it over some um, white rice and then some green onions. I had some leftover broccoli in the fridge, so I'm having that. And this is Howard's plate. Same thing, except I bought him some zucchini and he seasoned it up and stir fried it up and he's having zucchini. I don't care for it, so um, zucchini. So I'm not having any and he's also having some broccoli and then his avocado. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe, and this is from an old cookbook that I have. I haven't seen this exact recipe online, so I will include a screenshot of the recipe so that you guys can make it. But in my skillet, I have one pound of ground beef that I seasoned with these flavor cubes. I've talked about them before on our What's For Dinner videos. I know there's a little bit of a glare, but you just add in one of these cubes and they season an entire pound of ground meat. So I have that in there. And to the um, meat, I'm adding in two cups of um, a chunky marinara sauce. So in my pantry, I had this jar, which is not quite two cups. So to make two cups, I added in um, some just Berea uh, pasta sauce. So that's Harrison coughing in the background. So I'm just gonna add this to my meat mixture. And I also have some spaghetti noodles that I have cooked as well and I drained them. I did not rinse them. I did add a little bit of butter so that they wouldn't stick together. So I am just going to mix up the meat and pasta sauce and then add in the spaghetti noodles. All right guys, so I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I have an 11 by seven pan that I have sprayed with cooking oil. And so what I'm gonna do is put half of the spaghetti mixture in the pan and then it calls for shredded provolone, but I have this sliced provolone um, that I needed to use and it also calls for cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna put the spaghetti mixture down, layer it with cheese, put the spaghetti mixture down again, and then top it off with cheese, and then bake it until the cheese is nice and melty, uncovered for about 20, 30 minutes, it said. So let's get started. Okay, so here it is. So I'm just gonna go with it. I'm using, I'm just gonna follow the recipe. I feel like it looks a little dry and like you could use some more cheese, but we'll see. I'm gonna bake it and I will be right back. 
So here is the spaghetti casserole and I tasted it and I do like it. It is not very saucy as you can see. If you prefer more sauce, you're definitely going to need to add some more to this recipe, but I like it as is. And I decided I just didn't feel like making a green vegetable tonight, so we're not having one. And for garlic bread, I had some leftover hot dog buns from the other week that I had in my fridge that we needed to use. So I just added some garlic butter to it and tossed them in the air fryer. And we're just splitting a hot dog bun. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making tortilla beef bake, and of course I will leave the recipe in the description box, but here I have one pound of lean ground beef that I did season with one of these flavor cubes, and this is my first time trying the Mexican flavor, and that is Harrison, of course, and it is really good. I like it a lot. To that, I'm just going to add one can of cream of chicken soup. Okay, so in my nine by nine casserole dish or two quart casserole dish, I have two cups of tortilla chips that I have crushed and placed at the bottom. And I am just going to add the meat mixture on top. Next, all you do is add two cups of your favorite salsa on top of the meat mixture, and then you're gonna top that with cheese. Okay, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to pop this in the oven and let it bake for about 20, 25 minutes. All right, so here is the casserole. I ended up baking it for 25 minutes and the tortilla chips, you can't see them, but they get very soft, kind of like a corn tortilla. So, um, and I'm also serving it with just some buttered corn. I had some canned corn in my pantry and I added butter, salt, and pepper. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am trying out a new recipe tonight. It is called beefy mac and cheese. So all I did is um, boil this box of noodles. I didn't prepare it, it's just boiled noodles and then I set the cheese sauce to the side. And then in my skillet here, I have one pound of ground beef that I season with a little bit of seasoned um, salt and then excuse the reach, I am adding in my noodles here. I drained them, but I did not rinse them. So I'm just putting them in the pot. And to that, I'm going to add in one can of cream of mushroom soup. And then I'm going to add in some milk. And of course, I will leave the recipe in the description box. And then I'm going to add in the packet of the dry cheese sauce. And I'm just gonna mix this until it is well combined and then I am supposed to let this simmer um, over a low heat until everything comes together and it is nice and smooth. All right guys, so here it is, and it's actually pretty good. I will definitely make this again. It is reminiscent of Hamburger Helper, but it, to me it tastes better, it has a better flavor. And if you have people in your family that don't like cream of mushroom, you really can't taste it in this recipe. And then with it, I just um, made some canned green beans and fried up some bacon and added that in there, along with um, garlic salt and seasoned salt. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.